the gimp stage all right <clears throat> clearing my throat again all right you got your thing all bordered out and the borders come in handy this time because check it out plop it in here over a gimp now you add a layer of white but move that layer up now you can hit select magic wand and what's cool about that is because now you can magic wand it and then you go to select grow and we'll grow up by two pixels now you add a new layer transparency now you can click on white make sure it's 100% opacity and you fill it in and bam you got your little grids there <clears throat> so now you can start to fill in your colors and you have the borders that gap it out a little bit so <clears throat> excuse me so you can start to flat you select all but I forgot to do this you go to document that your ink layer and you want to darken it <clears throat> all right then you can use whatever coloring techniques you want you could uh, insert a new layer and select it the foreground and have a foreground layer and background layer and then you want to add drop shadow and highlights and color it and eventually it looks like this one have it all finished but what's cool is when you get to this point after you highlight it and I use sometimes I use the 10% technique where uh, you try to blend it all and if it looks too weird you can just blend it back into the background until it, it, it works well and then you can highlight by 10% white so then it'll just blend it into highlights instead of having to uh, choose the exact highlight color you know you can build it up anyway it'll look like this but what's cool about the borders is you separated it that and now you can go to uh, back to your border layer here and you can click on select the magic wand tool you click on it and now you can layer I'm sorry select grow you can grow by let's say three pixels now you go up to your ink doc ink layer you hit delete and now you got rid of those things so select none and now you go back to this layer and now you can click on the average background and you can fill that in like that or I didn't put it on 100% like that not like that though I wanted that color so now this is ready to go back into Inkscape where we can throw in the borders and we can th uh, throw in the text so that's the next video that I'm going to show you so thank you for watching this short little video thanks guys